Good evening, everyone. The Pole Father here, and I have quite the CGC return. First off, wow, what a, what a return. We had a wide variety of a CGC submission to see where they're at, and I think we got a pretty good firm where they're at. Number one, are they grading easier? My answer to that is yes, but how much easier? Not so much. A little bit easier, not so much. Enough to the point where they're not handing out 10s. They're still being challenging. They're still being tough. They're really not letting anything slip through the cracks, but they are being a little bit lenient, easier. Now, I say that because I've been submitting with CGC now for quite some time since they started grading uh, Pokemon cards. Have they gotten easier? Yes. But is it by a landslide? No. So... With that being said, I'll start going through the submissions here, but let me start from the beginning was I have never been so I, I, I had quite the reaction to some of these cars and I'm going to post that video later, but um, first things first, uh, we'll start with the first edition Shadowless Machamp. Now, if you guys recall from my last video, this card, what I did was it had no subgrade. So what I did was I cracked it. I resubmitted it with subgrades to see where, uh, where it's at. Score the same as an 8.5, and um, not much has changed on there. Still the 8.5. I think it's exactly where it has been. Ooh, a little dust here. Um, you know, I wish this got the nine, but you know, the corners. It did have some pretty significant corner uh, wear on this card. So stay at 8.5. Um, that's where I have this card. You know, I think it's where it should be. The Lugia. I graded this card, and I remember I told you last video that I purchased this pre-COVID, and it scored an 8.5 with two subgrades being 10s, one being a 9, and one being an 8.5. Actually, here, let me pull the slip out right here. Sec. Um, nope, not this one. Here we go. There we go. Okay. So the last submission right here, we have a 8.5 Lugia, 8.5 on the centering, 8 on the surface, 10 on the corners, 10 on the edges. This is a pretty much a near man card. Now, I grade with no subgrades because there's a theory of the CGC grade easier with no subgrades. Well, I took that theory to the test. Um, do I think they're grading easier? A little bit easier, but not enough to where people are getting huge upgrades i think people are getting upgrades but not by much and i think that's a very fair card grade for this card as i said the centering is off on the front same on the back um surface wear the same as if it's pack fresh but again i mean this is nearly a pack fresh card so i think a nine is very fair for this card um the surface wear on it wasn't anything significant but just your natural let's see if we can get it on camera here right it's right here with my thumb there we go right and as everyone knows this card is not great easy let's see if we can get it better there we go right there everyone see that see the surface wear right there not significant but definitely still you know you can point out saying you know the card was had its uh, natural tendency of being messed up but beautiful card pack fresh i mean Nine, very fa fair, very fair. Now, first editions, the only one that didn't cross was the Chansey. I was surprised because I bet this one was going to cross. So CGC actually sent me the reason why, but no cross. I'll point out here. And it pointed out and said the corner, which we were very familiar about. Then we said here that there was the front edge wear. So coming on this card right here, we flip it over and we point it out right, uh, right about there. Let's see if we can get it here, maybe behind my hand. See the edge wear right there, the corners right there. And then maybe I just missed this, but there's a very, very, very tiny surface right there. I mean, you need to even, you gotta look really, really hard for it to see it. But other than that, I mean, this card's it's beautiful. So it didn't cross, unfortunately. I'm still after a CGC Chansey, but just kind of get an idea of where they're at. Um, did not cross, but let me show the other submissions here place that card right here the polyrath a nine with pretty strong subgrades you got a 10 on the centering 9.5 on the surface 10 on the edges 8.5 on the corners um 
probably just because right here, the little white spot right there. Oh, that is a beautiful card. Uh, very crisp, very, I mean, great one for the collection ad. I'm very happy with the grade. Uh, beautiful card. I mean, this is definitely an awesome one to add into the PC. The Gyarados. Now, I was very surprised because I actually bet that this card would not cross and actually cross the best. Um, 9.5 centering, 10 on the surface, 9 on the corners, 9.5 on the edges. So I don't know if you recall, but the last video I sent, I, we pointed out, we, you know, we have a small little uh, nick here, but it's not as worse as the Polyrath. But we pointed out there is surface wear right here. And after reviewing it under a black light, light, I thought for sure that was on the card, and I was wrong. So, guys, just take a deep, close look at your surface. I mean, sometimes these old cars that are in a PSA slab, there could be some wear and tear there. Um, but just make sure you're 100% sure it's actually on the card because even for this one, I mean, look, this is – it wasn't on the card. And look at the grade of this thing. It converted over to a 9.5 strong grade. I'm so happy. You know, this is an awesome addition to my collection. So, I'm thrilled. All right. Now – if you guys remember, or if you've seen my last video, four cards submitted. All first edition. First edition Moltres from Fossil. First edition Dark Hypno from Team Rocket. First edition Gengar. And first edition Dragonite, from both from Fossil. Wow. I absolutely lost my mind. Um, we'll go one by one. The Moltres. Very, very, very shocked, actually. Um... This got a nine. I thought for sure nine five, but um, I mean, this card's pack fresh, beautiful. I mean, there's nothing, nothing wrong with this. I will safely say though, this card definitely. When I held the uh, first edition uh, Dragonite and the first edition Gengar in my hand, I mean, that felt phenomenal. This one definitely did not feel the same, but still pack fresh mint. What I've gave this maybe a nine. I think it's being tough. Nine five probably, but um, I still haven't really fully examined it yet. I just really opened these not too long ago, but um, a nine I'm very happy with for a pack fresh card, especially you know a lot of first edition cards or old cards made in um, the nineties and early two thousands. You know it's been twenty or thirty years, so I can't complain about this grade here. I'm very happy with it. I love the CGC slab. So all right, next. I'm just getting excited about this because, you know, I'm going to, I feel bad for this card because it's going to get overshadowed, but Dark Hypno, first edition, I thought this one would score nine, it actually got the nine five, this one I pulled from the, actually all four I pulled from Miami TCG Con, beautiful card, very happy with the grade, I thought actually this would get a nine, pulls a nine five, I'm thrilled, all right, Let's get to the white meat, okay? And this, I'm just... Wow. Wow. Only one, the only CGC 10 recorded, first edition Gengar. I pulled it. Like I said, when I held this card, and I know these, these two I'm about to show you don't grade well, I lost it when I found out this card got a 10 because I know how hard it is to pull a CGC 10, even for modern cards fresh out of the pack. I mean, this is what it's all about is pulling cards like this and then scoring the 10. I mean, this is, this is what it's about right here. I mean, this card, the surface is per flawless. I, I went nuts. I found out this card got a 10. I couldn't believe it. Cause I know how hard it is to get CGC 10s. I've submitted quite a few cards to know what it's like to get a CGC 10. This one pulled it. I lost it. I'm so happy to have this card. I'm so happy. Now, this is where things get interesting because the grand finale, and I lost it. I mean, I lost it. I'm going to post the video. I couldn't help it, but I mean, look, the first of its kind, this card does not grade well, and this card was flawless. It scored a perfect 10. Now, I submitted this for grading. I did no subgrades. And there's a reaction video that uh, my fiance took of me. And she was, I had to guess the grades. And she kind of like, we kind of, I'll, I'll post it after this video. But the first CGC Perfect 10 First Distant Dragonite was recorded by me. And I am so happy to add this card in my collection. This card is flawless. I mean, this was about us having some fun. And when I 
oh, I, I had a booth at Miami TCG Con. I didn't sell a single thing. And I said, to test my luck. I pulled this card there with people watching. The second I got a 10, a perfect 10 on this, I reached out to um, uh, Palatown Pokemon. I said, dude, I said, you would not believe what that card scored. And I told him it scored a perfect 10. He's like, you got to show me a picture. So I was like, hang on. Let me, let me show this to the world. And let me get in my hands too. The perfect 10. I've seen so many Dragonites. I've never seen one with this perfect surface. Not a single one. Not a single scratch. Not a single nothing. The centering was perfect. His card is beautiful. It's beautiful. And it scored a CGC perfect 10. I'm ecstatic to have this card. It is, I'm curious to know what it's worth because there's no comps. There's no nothing. All I know is it. it's so awesome to pull a CGC 10 and then a perfect 10 on vintage cards that we all know great very difficult to get it and it's wow like unbelievable i'm i'm so happy so my overall review is cgc grading easier yes they are however are they grading to the point where there's throwing tens left and right definitely not definitely not i am still very very um i'm still very I'm very picky on what I submit there because I know how they grade and they grade very difficult. And to pull, I mean, two tens in what's in one submission, I lost my mind. But you know what? In fairness, these cards deserve it. In fact, honestly, I would even say this card even should get a perfect 10 than just the the um, pristine 10. I mean, it's, this is a fuzz. I mean, it's it, it's a beautiful card, both of these. Everything. I mean, there's this the surface, the hollow, the, the corners, the edges, everything. It's beautiful on both of these cards. Maybe they just said to themselves, well, we can't just give two perfect tens because that's just not done. You just can't do that. But the fact that in this submission that we pull two tens is incredible. I'm so happy. I, I don't know, but um this is what it's all about. Having fun, getting cards like this, going for the big ten and getting it. So, and I'm so happy. I can't, can't get over it. And anyway, this, this video, I'm not sponsored by CGC at all. Look, I'm out of Florida, CGC is close to me. To me, it's my go-to. Love the slabs. I mean, they display beautifully, especially, I mean, a car like this. I mean, wow. I mean, this, you can't beat it. But, um, <laughs> you know, I'm excited. So, you know, what's to come in the future? What else we're going to hold? So, I am turning 30 come November. I've been reaching out to some other YouTube content creators. And I think it's only justice and fair that we do some pack openings. So I want to show everyone what I have so far and what else the one I'm looking to get. So first thing is I actually reached out to old school Pokemon. And I told him what my situation. I said, hey, man, I'm turning 30. I got to go out with a bang. So he goes, you know, absolutely. You know, I um, asked, what does he have? And sure enough, I bought a complete art set from a fresh box of heavy first edition fossil packs. Fossil's been treating us good. So we're going to go back at it, see what else we can get. At this point, I mean, I can't get a better Dragonite. <laughs> I mean, I'm very happy with that card. But now what else we can get? You know, if a Mach and Magneton comes, it comes. And that's what it's meant to be. If it's an Articuno, a Lapras, great. But whatever's meant to be is meant to be. It's meant to have some fun with this. Next, uh, I also bought two First Edition Team Rockets. Now, do they have a hollow in them? I don't know. Do they have a good chance at a hollow? Absolutely. So, and look, here we go. I got his signature logo OSP on there. To, we're going to keep these sealed up. Next, from someone else very uh i would say pretty close to old school pokemon is um catch them all collectibles i reached out to him as well and i told him the same situation i said hey um you know turning 30 what do you got for me and i decided to purchase two more of a ch chance of it hollow for um for a chance at a hollow at team rocket first editions we're be cracking those and then also i purchased one heavy base set pack off of him. Um, I know he did pull the Charizard, and congratulations to him on that. That's definitely a fun accomplishment from this box. So, 
no chance of Charizard or less likely chance, but that's okay because, you know, I don't need the Charizard. Um, I'm searching for other base set types near mint, obviously the better the condition, the better and just see what we have and also just have some fun. And then last but not least, I reached out to another guy out on Facebook and I bought two heavy, uh, base set packs for them. Now there is a chance at a starter in at least one of these packs. I'm pretty confident on, um, he opened one pack. He pulled the Alkazam and four other people opened up packs. Not one single star has been pulled. I know he said the Raichu was open or pulled. Um, so I can't recall what else, but all I know is no starters been pulled. So there's definitely a good chance that there's some starters in these two right here. And even in, um, you can catch them all collectibles right here. And last but not least, when I was at um, Tampa TCG Con, which I bought this mat from, um, there was a, a guy there with a heavy jungle first edition pack. Um, I traded him a couple slabs for it and made the trade for it. And I kind of thought this was a good shot at going for it. He said he purchased this uh, pack off a, um, a pretty big YouTuber. I guess his name is Cards for Trading. So we'll see what we get. I decided to take away the pack is absolutely pack fresh, clear. It's 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 in really good shape. I normally don't buy packs if it's just a RAM heavy pack, but I inspected it pretty good. It's pretty crisp. You got to be careful with this stuff because a lot of heavy packs been you know passed around. You don't know the history on it. You don't know the origin of it. I personally don't like getting packs unless it's literally fresh out of the box. And then you know how are the other how how do they look? You know the condition. How is the box stored, etc. But um, I know I know uh, old school and um, catch mall collectibles. You know they're they've been doing this for years, so I trust them to you know. I'm sure they don't. You know I'm sure I trust them. That's all I can really say. And they're very reputable, and I trust that they you know get the mintiest stuff. So plus they show me videos, and I'm excited to open them. So um, definitely going to be uh, linking in the Pokey Flips. Definitely a huge fan of it, and um. I got a lot of their packs I'm opening, so it's going to be exciting there. Got a lot of fun, exciting things. Um, it's getting late. I'm excited. I don't know. Definitely getting more involved. Um, this is what it's all about. Having fun. Said from the beginning. Wow. I am sorry. I just can't get over this, but I mean, it's a sweet card. <laughs> well, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm the Pole Father. Go ahead and uh, do me a favor and give the video a good like. I know my my big 710 followers I have on here. Show me some support. Uh, leave me a comment. Like the page. Give me a follow. Let's see what else we can do. I'm the Pole Father. Thanks for watching, guys. And just remember, guys, it only takes one. It only takes one. Have a good night, guys. Take care.